a crack pipe vending machine? Really, New York City? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we're going to talk about New York City's brand new crack pipe vending machines. That's right, crack pipe vending machines that have been cleaned out nearly overnight, right when they first debuted. Now, not only are there crack pipes in the vending machine, there's also, I think, Narcan. So basically, if you are a dope fiend, you're hooked on drugs, and you want um, a clean crack pipe, maybe even a clean uh, fentanyl heroin needle, you can go right there to the vending machine and get these products out. Now, I'm not quite sure if they cost money. If they don't cost money and it's free, well, yeah, it's going to get cleaned out right away because what's going to happen is people are going to go to the vending machine, take them out for free, and then sell them on the street or just hoard them for themselves. Okay, if they got, if they got Narcan in there, uh, needles, crack pipes, all that kind of stuff, it'll get cleaned out right away. Now, this is ridiculous. I covered, well, I didn't cover the story. I posted the video of the Biden administration allegedly funding crack pipes and whatnot out there in the streets of Los Angeles. And it's weird how a lot of leftist people will say, that the white man put drugs in the community and he killed the black community. He killed the white community, big farmer, all this and that. And the third, they'll really against that. But then when they literally put out a vending machine crack pipe and do a whole press release, a press conference, PR news appearances, they do all that for that. And it's not really a big deal. How was it any different? If the federal government, local government fund drug paraphernalia, they may as well fund the drugs for you. Look, they're leaving the border wide open, letting fentanyl come across. They are giving you the crack pipes, the crack, uh, the, the heroin needles, the Narcan, all of that. They're giving you everything you need to go out there and kill yourself and you do it. And it's not really a problem. But then we go back to the Reagan days when crack came into the community and you want to blame him for that. I don't understand. It's really weird to me. But before I go any further into it, let's roll a news clip and of course, this clip will be in the description box if you want to see it and hear it without my commentary. If you are on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Life-saving drug is now at the fingertips of New Yorkers. People can get in a lock zone from a vending machine. That's the drug, of course, that reverses opioid overdoses. Mm. Fox Lights Kendall Green is live in Brownsville, Brooklyn with a look at that machine and how you can use it. Kendall. Hey, good evening, Stephen and Tasha. Every three data, every three hours, according to city data, a victim dies from overdose across New York City, which is why the city is installing these vending machines with free tools to help. Oh, so it's free. There it goes right there. That's the key word. So I had to say right there, free tools. You got and you got drugs in there. You got the what well, it said, uh, no, Noxalone, not Narcan. Same thing. You know, it's to reverse the effects of opioid uh, overdose. So same thing, but it's free. Yeah, it'll get cleaned out overnight. I'm surprised the machine is still there. The physical actual box is still there. Prevent another catastrophe, giving a potential victim a life-saving chance. This is a real practical step in our fight against the overdose crisis. Monday, the city unveiled its first naloxone vending machine, a part of its Care, Community, and Action Health Plan, released months ago. That so there's, there's quite a few things in there. You're going to see um, it's branded in NYC Health. How nice. So I wonder if there's crack pipes in the NYC Health branded little blue baggies. I wonder. I'm not really sure, but I digress. You got all kind of goodies in there. I can't really see. Um, I can't read this um, language. Says something about fentanyl. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, let's keep on going. The show's 2023 on track to be the city's highest year of overdoses ever. And this is one new tool giving New Yorkers a shot to take control in scenarios that often have already spun out of control. We have a rising tide of fentanyl, and now we have other substances entering our drug supply, which is really putting us behind the eight ball. The goal behind placing the vending machines out in public is to meet people where they are, literally giving them access to life. So that's, that's, that's Narcan right there. So they do have the Narcan in there. Okay, that's the nasal spray. And, you know, the drug, uh, the drug epidemic has gotten so bad in places like Ohio, West Virginia, that they don't even carry Narcan on them because it's just, if you have the Narcan on you, that's a way to enable the drug addiction. Because if they know they can get rescued by the Narcan, they can just go all the way to the, to the limit. To the point where if there's a batch of dope that's out there that is dropping people dead and they, they're overdosing, 
They want to go right to that package and use it and go all the way to the edge. And if they OD, they'll know it will be some guy with that Narcan to revive them. Saving tools. When using the machine, you enter the zip code, press pound and select whichever Narcan kit fits the scenario. That kit comes with instructions and within seconds, All right, so this is a, Narcan kit. a potential crisis subdued. These vending machines are located in neighborhoods. Hold on. Can we go back and see if we can read that? Machines are Overdose rescue kit with uh, naloxine. Are located in neighborhoods that data show are hardest hit by overdoses, the opioid crisis. It shouldn't be luck or privilege that gets you into services. It should be easily accessible to everyone we know and love in New York. Dr. Rebecca Lynn Walton, with services for the underserved, knows the importance of that access from her own personal experience. So I see something else right there. Let's go back. They get some little, uh, it says uh, hygiene. So I guess that, that's, that's probably the crack pipes in there. I can't really see. Maybe it might be noodles as well. I'm seeing lotion. Yeah, so if you got uh, dry lips or whatever, you can, you know, moisturize your, your face, moisturize your lips and, you know, your, your, your arms and whatnot. If you got sores on you from shooting your heroin. Yeah, so they're enabling your drug addiction. That is the long and short. Let's keep on going. Personal experience. I know that I'm here because I received 21 years ago life saving services myself because of a loving family and a community that got me into recovery. This is an important arrow in our quiver. It's not the only thing, it's not the be all end all solution, but it is an important tool that says to New Yorkers, hey, we are going to bring the tools to save lives to you. So that's, that's that right there. Now, I told you that the machines had um, got cleaned out of crack pipes overnight. <laughs> okay, so that, that right there was just the original, the introduction video, okay? And you see what's happening right here in the New York Post article. It says, NYC's drug thing vending machine cleaned out of crack pipes overnight. This is uh, yesterday, June 6, 2023. And quote, unquote, they, they should restock. Let's see if we can find a little bit more. Uh, and then let's see. Let's not have that. But this, of course, this will be in the box as well. So city officials' new drug thing vending machines is a huge hit with local addicts who wasted no time in cleaning it out, cleaning it out overnight as they stocked up on its free crap pipes, lip balm, and Narcan. Okay? You got to get your good uh, Burt's Bees and chapsticks and all that good stuff. Yes, I love it. Drug user Evelyn Williams told the Post while sending that the public health vending machine in Brownsville, Brooklyn on Tuesday. They put in yesterday, it's empty already. At 1 p.m., drug prevention program worker was starting to restart the machine with more drug test strips, Narcan, and condoms. Condoms? Is that part of your uh, recovery process, condoms? Is that what we're going to do? Anyway, protecting the vending machine could need to be refilled. Oh, predicting it could be refilled maybe twice a day, depending on which items go quite quickly. We have a lot of addicts and heroin users over here. They should restock it immediately. self described crack smoker. <laughs> Minoshi Cal 50, 56 had walked away with the second to last product in the vending machine, a fentanyl test strip. So you, you smoking crack, but you want a fentanyl test strip. Maybe you smoke fentanyl too, or you shoot fentanyl anyway. Around 11 a.m. Oh, fentanyl test kit to make sure that you're cracking less of fentanyl, which most of the drugs in the streets are less of fentanyl. But anyway, around 11 a.m. while sniffing that the glass used for the free pipes might not be up to her standards. So, oh, really? Okay. I like the Pyrex because it's a little thicker. Also lamenting, you can't even sell that vending stuff because the programs give you all that stuff already for free. So there it is. You know, the vending machine we saw in the video, uh, topped to the, the the brim with all the crack pipes and Narcan and everything else, needles, all gone that quick. How much would this crack pipe program cost the city of New York? How much are you going to pay for that if you are a New York resident? How about federal money? Quote, the crack pipes are a little too thin now. Uh, yeah, that, that ain't really it, man. I need, I need that thick uh, Pyrex glass so I can get my crack smoked properly, right? Uh, and this person has six children and nine grandchildren. And every time I pull on the newer ones, it's burning my lips. I was like, H and all. <laughs> I like my lips too much for this. I do my little crack here and there. I smoke my pipe. I smoke weed. I don't lace none of my stuff with stuff. She then hit up her fentanyl test strip, she said while laughing. I'm trying to get high, not die. Before dancing off down the street. Okay, they, they're a little bit too comedic with this kind of stuff right here. 
So let's keep on rocking and rolling. Are they going to show the crack pipe or no? Nah? Um, maybe, maybe not. But there's there's more to this article. I'll link to that in the description. But yeah, all the crack pipes and these vending machines will get taken. Uh, maybe some of the, the crack smokers might be a little bit too bougie. They say, hey, man, this is a little bit too thin. I'd rather would just, you know, do a little something to get something else and get my, my quality crack pipe. This is ridiculous. Uh, all jokes aside, this is ridiculous. You are enabling the drug addiction, which makes it worse. It's the same thing going on with California and the homeless problem. They think giving them services, quote unquote, is going to help them. It'll reduce homelessness and make it better, but it's not. All you're going to do is attract everybody homeless to one area. If you let them camp out, you're giving them services, you're giving them three meals, you're giving them all kinds of stuff, food, clothing, maybe even a little bit of shelter, but they don't need it out there in California. You can pretty much build whatever you want to on the side of the road and it's fine. All that they're doing is enabling the homelessness. And all that they're doing right now in New York City is enabling the drug addiction. Narcan, Naxaline, or whatever that is, crack pipes, needles, lip balm, lotion. You might as well give them the dope too. I mean, why not? Hey, it would be clean dope, no fat and nail. That's going to be the next step as I close. That'll be the next step. They're going to try to legalize these drugs and make this stuff available in a government facility. Same thing they have government controlled um, liquor stores in Virginia. They may do a thing like that in New York where you have the drugs available in a government run drug store. I wouldn't be surprised. And again, you're not going to help the problem with drug addiction. All you're going to do is coddle people who are in that state. You're going to enable it. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about New York City's crack pipe, heroin needle, uh, fentanyl test strip vending machine? Is it a good idea? Bad idea? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. All they're doing right here is enabling drug addiction. I don't see the purpose. I don't really get it. But hey, whatever. You know, these liberal ideas in New York City. They're going to be tried, and when they fail, which we know they are going to fail, then it's going to be a bunch of excuse made and finger pointing, but it's like, hey, this was predictable. Anybody could have seen this coming, and if you didn't see it coming, that just points to your overall incompetence, obviously. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below, and that's all i got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.